What do you? What is your take? Did you see the previous meme with the woman, or did you just see the young man with his son? I just saw the young man with the son. That was incredible, dude. Oh boy, that I'm gonna piss you off, Donovan. Right? Okay, listen. <laughs> meme of the week is actually two parts. I'm gonna play it in two parts. So, seeing this screen right here, can you see my? Oh Instagram? Jesus, this thing. Here we got you. Here we go. What the? Yeah. Woo! Okay, can you hold there? Yeah. Okay, sit on me now. Sit on me. Terrible. Starting them off young. Yeah, right. Oh, no. Okay, now put, clean your arms up. Okay, now put it's only in it. It'll be there forever. Poor kid. Oh. Imagine what that lake smells like. Oh, vey. It's just. I. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Myron, what, what do you think about that, buddy? So. I'm just going to say this, man. This is why fathers are needed. Fathers keep sons out of jail and daughters off stripper poles. And this is ridiculous. Like the fact that you have a young child there teaching her how to dance on a stripper pole at the young, at young age is outrageous, man. Like this is why so many kids end up being fucked up in, in the world. You know what I mean? Like they end up with what, like if you look at anyone that's a criminal, felons, uh, mentally disturbed people, high school dropouts, people that earn low wages, basically um, delinquents in society, almost all of them come from a single parent household. And when I say single parent, guess who wins most of the custody battles? Single mom. Their mother households. You know what I mean? Fathers are 100% needed. And now as an adult, I can appreciate it because I grew up in a two parent household. My parents are from the Middle East. My dad was a strong leader. My mom followed my dad and she respected him. She cooked and cleaned. And the house was stable. And I attribute my father now as an adult. I can realize when he used to whoop my ass, why he did it. Because so I wouldn't end up doing dumb shit like this. You need a strong father. You need a masculine figure there to correct bad behavior. Because the reality is this. Your father is going to whoop your ass and teach you the, uh, the teachings of how to be an appropriate citizen in society before the police and the state can do it for you. Because you don't want the state to do it for you. You want your dad to do it for you. And he's supposed to come in and whoop your ass so that you don't go to jail. You know what I mean? So yes. that's why a figure is so, a father figure is so important. So you don't end up with buffoonery like this shit that you see on the internet. And you know what's the sadder part? This woman did it to get fucking free attention. This is why I say like like women, yeah. like they, they literally crave attention to the point that they will put their child in a compromising position and make themselves look like a shitty parent for views, for clout, for attention. Yeah, yeah and I, think about I don't it, know. the most impressionable, formidable years of a child development from ages you know, from the born to seven years old, right? And think about the, like, that's gonna be a moment that sticks with this little kid forever. Mm -hmm. And in a pinch, and if she's not brought up right, which obviously it's not looking good. That, oh no. <laughs> that's what it's gonna be, her future. Well, I remember my mom teaching, my mom being proud and happy of having me on a stripper pole. <laughs> and then this is what they're bringing up little girls now to view as like, this is your attribute. This is your assets. That's it. And and, and the problem is that, listen, you want to get on a stripper pole and get attention and get some views. That's fine. But putting your child on the pole to do that, yeah. you know, when that child uh, really doesn't know what the hell's going on and they're immortalized on the internet for years mm -hmm. to come. Because once you put something on the internet, you can't take it down. A lot of chicks do dumb shit like this to get free attention. And when they do shit like this, you already know she's a lower value chick. You don't want to associate women like that. Absolutely. Anyway, uh, she's just she's just huh? setting up her uh, what was it then and now TikTok video. Oh God, <laughs> man! What do you think about what we just saw, buddy? Where's the dad? That's what I want to know. And I think this kind of goes to what y'all talking about in Rule Zero, where uh, like all this shit is about uh, destabilizing the family so there are no masters for people to learn from. You know, like. There's obviously weak fathers nowadays, but if there's no father, then the kid has no chance to begin with. Yeah, uh, it, it's 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 concerning to say the least. So we have uh, that's that's meme of the week part one. But I know we're all 
all riled up and upset now, but I, I want to show you guys meme of the week part two. Uh, check out what we got here. Now, James I don't know if you guys West. seen this, but this is a father. This shit is fire. A father and his son. I want to play this and just let I want to let the audience listen on in. Just check this out. Folks in the audience, tell me what you think. King, it's a lot of suckers at you with their money. And you can't be no sucker at you with your money. But I ain't no sucker. Bet you I don't. Okay. What's assets? Assets are things that bring money into your bank account. What's liabilities? Liabilities are things that take money out your bank account. Entrepreneurship is the act of becoming an entrepreneur. What's entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is a process of setting up a business or businesses. Taking on a greater than normal. Financial risk. What's an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur is a person that organizes and operates a business or businesses. Also taking on a greater than normal. Financial risk. What's financial mean? Money. And what's risk mean? Chance. Come on. What does it mean to own stock? When you own a share of a company. Come on. What's real estate investing? Real estate investing is when you invest in a immovable property. What's the two types of real estates? Commercial real estate and residential real estate. What's commercial real estate? Commercial real estate is property for businesses and workspace, like an office store and land. And what's residential real estate? Property to live on, like a house, apartment, or condominium. Come on. It comes with extra fees when you have real estate, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Daddy tells you how many times he pays his per, uh, state property tax a year. Once a year. What's, what's the type of maintenance fee? Cutting grass. Come on. What's HOA? Homeowner Association. And what comes along with that? HOA fee. Come on. And when it comes to the brokerage percent, what percent is that? Seven. Come on. What's equity? Equity is the difference between what your business is worth minus what you owe on it. Also assets minus? Liabilities and debt. Good job. What's credit report? Credit report is like a report card letting you know how well you did by paying your money back you borrowed. And how does credit affect your life? The better you keep your credit, the more opportunities you'll have to get funding. And what large purchases like? A car or a house. Come on. And always repay what you owe. Oh. Because if you owe somebody, that means you're in. Debt. And you never want to be in. Debt. Because that means you owe somebody. And we don't never owe somebody. Because that ain't what suckers do, period. Come on. Yeah. Awesome. Heartwarming. There is hope in America. I, I saw these two things and without a shadow of a doubt that I was just like, you know, and like, say what you will about like, you know, if you want to get racial, be like, well, you know, and, and he's a black father to stop it all off because, you know, there's that stigma that black fathers always leave. OK, like, look at the difference, the stark comparison. Now, I'm not saying that a, a girl could not do that. But what I am saying is look what a father did with his son. And look what a mother did with her daughter on the internet. What do you guys say? Spit bars right there. That was yep. straight just flames right there, man. That's why fathers are critical. You need that corrective force in your childhood and more importantly, in your adolescence when you're more prone to be up. Most kids, those years between 12 to 18 are critical. That's when you need a dad the most, when you're trying to skip school, when you're trying to smoke pot, when you're trying to play hooky, do all these stupid things. That's when your father comes with the hand hey what the hell are you doing because i used to get my ass beat i'm not gonna lie but you know what i thank out my dad for doing that because if it wasn't for my father i would probably be a degenerate right now yep and i think one thing that gets underplayed is you know they say that women are the nurturers or whatever i think men are way bigger nurturers than men like we have literally been responsible for keeping civilizations alive like that to me sounds way more like a nurturing person and you know, when you start moving men around or, you know, what's it called? I guess hurting their development into being these people that can do these things and protect people. You know, this is the society you have. Yeah. I, I, yeah, but men, men nurture rational thought and belief. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what women nurture other than feelings. Well, I mean, there's definitely that, that maternal instinct. And like, you know, I tell guys, like, don't go out into this world expecting women to be a reflection of your mother. Even a crappy mom, you know, they're going to love you. And a woman will never love you like your mother. That's one huge misconception. Your mother's the only person in the world that's going to love you and tell you bullshit and stick by your side. Yeah. A woman will dump your ass in a second as soon as you no longer have any value to her. Yeah. But, that um, idealism that men seek so much from their girlfriends and wives and stuff, 
that comes from your mother. That comes no, from your mother. No woman exactly. is gonna love you like your mother does. You know what I mean? Like, and here's the thing, guys. We're not sit here to bash single moms. You can absolutely be a successful man with a single mom. John, Hell yeah, obviously. If you listen, if you hate me, then you gotta <laughs> hate single moms because I'm a product of a single mother. So we're, 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 I can say shit about a single mom because I was raised by one as well. Yeah, I, I've had the dynamic of I've had a dad in the house at ten from the age of uh, until the age of ten. Now, he was a Chad, but uh, nonetheless, when he was that, the household was stable. You know, shit was taken care of. When he, when she kicked him out and removed him from our lives, and the shit she did to him was out of spite for him, not in our best interest. Like, she wouldn't let him see us. And that wasn't for, uh, to better us. That was for her for filling some grudge she had with him for being, treating her like shit or whatever. I don't know. And I want to but, say this too, Joe. Oh, sorry, Joe. Go ahead. No, no, it's funny. I just want to say something. You ever see that meme where they're like, single moms always dress their little boys like the men that left them? Have you ever right. seen that? That's so true, though. <laughs> and I'm going to say this, guys. This isn't a knock against single moms. All I'm saying is that if you come from a single mother household, your chances of becoming a significantly increase. Absolutely. Yes. There's yeah, plenty man. of guys on this panel that came from single parent households that are stand up men. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they had to bust their ass to figure that out. Without the aid of a father, it was much harder. Yeah, but, but let me was... tell you why. It wasn't because the best thing she did was put me on my ass when I was 16 and have me go figure it out by myself. That's Other than that, I mean, that's the reason why I had no clue moving into life because of her. And I'm not, it's, I'm not, I'm not the one who's angry at their mom. I'm not. She did her best with what she had, I guess. Yep. But nonetheless... Every life experience has led me to where I am today. So I, I'm grateful for everything that's happened to me. My point um, is, but. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. My point is, is that, uh, so I'm a product of a single parent household, <clears throat> a single mother. And there was, there was really no guidance given. The only thing she did for me as a man is try and uh, Rolo calls it what? Building the better beta. Yep. Yep. Is to build me into this guy that she, she, this opposite of what she despised, which was actually what attracted to her, what attracted her, and it absolutely ruined me up until the point where I had to start figuring shit out on my own. Women are not cut out a to raise men or b b critical decision makers and thinkers. Dude, and, and it's and it goes both ways. I can tell when a girl is raised by a dad; she's just a little more manly. It's just like mm. just like a little smidge and more manly and like it's kind of weird for me. I mean, I I just like really girly girls. Like call me weird, but like I just that's what I like. And um, I think no. it makes them competitive on a sexual level too. It's yeah, it's yeah. it's like it's, it gets it's, weird in the bedroom too. Yeah, the, you can't have that. I'm a takeover, and that and you need the polarity is necessary. What do you? What is your take? Did you see the previous meme with the woman, or did you just see the young man with his son? I just saw the young man with the sun. That was incredible, dude. Oh, boy. That I'm going to piss you off, Donovan. <laughs> okay, listen. Because uh -oh. we did meme of the week, and we were comparing a single father to a single mother here. I definitely want to see his take on this. Is that a f***ing kid? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sit on me now. Stay tuned. Oh. Yeah, that's a bad She's something, all right. Listen, to be honest with you, John, I'm not really pissed off. And here now, now obviously, <laughs> that's the difference between single moms and single dads. But if we're keeping it all the way real here, if mm -hmm. we're keeping it all the way real here, men, we make money with our minds. We cultivate our knowledge. Women make money on the way they look. So if we're keep, I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna keep it all the way 100 here, mom is teaching her little girl, hey, this is how to get by in life. Dad is teaching the, the little boy, this is how you get by in life. Now, of course, I say that half kidding, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need to be teaching your daughter how to be a stripper. That's real. That's too early of a return on investment. You're going to be burned out by 25. What she should be teaching her is how to cook, how to clean, how to dress like a feminine. The, 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 the father was teaching the boy how to be a man. The mother was teaching a girl how to be a whore. That's mm -hmm. the difference. But no, that doesn't make me mad. Dude, the bitch was bad. Like, holy shit.